Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And this is very, very important for T-Mobile, or at least a important part of the network strategy and proper networking. So T-Mobile signs on for digital, digital bridges, MGM Gamble. So very important play for T-Mobile. They recent, uh, recently acknowledged at a conference that they have some indoor issues and th that indoor issue, right? Coverage wise, DAS systems, that's a bit of an issue at scale. That's not just at this hotel or that hotel. No, that's that's a bit of an issue at scale, right? At hospitals, larger venues, um, hotels. So T-Mobile is trying to fix that and they're going to need some time. But what's very important here is, you know, the T-Mobile small sale strategy that I wanted to point out. T-Mobile's network chief, Neville Ray, has been, has been cool towards small sales in the past. In 2020, he said that, that adding network capacity through inst the installation of additional small sales is time consuming and expensive due to the need to obtain construction permits and equipment for the devices. Indeed, T-Mobile in 2021 canceled uh, an order for small sales that Sprint made prior to the T-Mobile acquisition of the company. T-Mobile said it will no longer use the, the 5,700 small sales, which mostly had not been, been built and would pay Crown Castle around $362 million to break the contract. So keep that in mind, right? How expensive would it have been to deploy those 5,700 small sales if T-Mobile was willing to pay a early termination fee or, or a fee to break the contract of $362 million? Just, just let that sink in how expensive it would have been for T-Mobile to deploy that 5,700 small sales. Just, just keep that in mind. But earlier this year, T-Mobile inked a new deal with Crown Castle that includes the addition of small sales to its network. Broadly, T-Mobile has said it expects to double the number of DAS systems and small sales in its network to around 50,000 through 2025. Huge. That's a pretty big deal. T-Mobile is already going to be set to have the most macros out of any wireless provider in the United States, as far as we know, right? We haven't seen any other carrier come out and dispute the claims of T-Mobile. So we're going to take it at face value. We don't know if it's true or not, but it does look like, you know, when it's all said and done, based on the amount of density T-Mobile does have in the urban metro core, and now the, the amount of sites that they're going to have to build to gain more coverage in the rural environment, it may end up being true. You know, inking more deals on DAS systems is very important for T-Mobile and to have somewhat of a similar performing network indoors as Verizon and AT&T. And we're talking airports, hotels, larger venues, right? NBA, NFL, we're talking all of that. So that's going to be another task for T-Mobile to, to have to take on. So let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. I look forward to reading your comments. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for more. Like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.